I am, I am the, the humble, humble seer. seer. Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to the humble seer. Thank you for stopping by. And we're going to get right into your read. This is your 2024 annual reading. And before we actually pull a card for each month, we're going to pull two cards. One, the first one is what you left behind in 2023. We'll talk about that. And the second one is what will dominate in 2024. In other words, that card will be through that card that I pull will be something that goes throughout the year. Okay. You understand? Great. I know you do Scorpio. All right, let's get into it. Let's get that card on what you left behind in 2023. And I know people are just like, so glad it's 2024. Okay. This is what you left behind Scorpio. Okay. This isn't a bad thing to leave behind ace of cups. It's about party and food. And I feel like you were doing a lot of that. It was uh, food and drink, you know, potentials, a lot of projects, first stages of projects and things like that. In pure intentions, maybe, you know, a bumpy, rocky love life. You're leaving all of that behind. That's in your rear view. Now let's get a card on what's going to dominate 2024. Okay. I'm excited for you. Oh my goodness. This is why <laughs> the sun. Did you hear that? I'm excited for you. And there it is the sun. I don't even think we need to expand. The sun card is the best card in the deck. Hands down. It's achievements. It's abundance. It's happiness. It's marriage. It's soulmates, everything. So anything that comes into your world, the sun makes it that much better. All good things. So that's beautiful. All right, let's see how you kick off the year. You're going to have a good start to the year. Okay, we have Four of Cups. Four of Cups is about dissatisfaction. It's unhappiness. Now, here's the thing. It's not you that's feeling this way. Well, you could be. You're looking back in your rear view on all of those good times that you had because the, the 2023 card what hap what you're you know uh, leaving behind is a lot of partying you're not going to be doing as much of that and so your four of cups is dissatisfaction it's boredom because you're going to be leaving that behind but this isn't bad though it's just a realization that you're like well this year i really got to put my nose to the grindstone i got to do it i got to do it i can't be partying and drinking and you know doing all of that other stuff Okay, let's see what February is wants to tell us. Let's see what's going on in February for you, Scorpio. I can't get over that sun card. It's beautiful. Okay, the chariot. The chariot is about movement. That's a major arcana. You have two major arcanas on, the, on deck here. And the chariot is about uh, determination. You're driven. Okay, because why? You left behind all that partying and nonsense. You started to mature more in 2023 and you could be of any age, but you were just enjoying your life as you should. You should enjoy your life in 2024, but I just get that it's more nose to the grindstone. So you're determined, you're driven, but you you have success and victory in, in all of this. You're winning the war, right? And you'll be traveling a lot more than usual. If you travel two times last year, we're just using that as an example. If you travel like long distances twice last year, this year it'll be like five or six times. It'll be more. Okay. So that's just an example. If you could have traveled 20 times, a hundred times, now it'll be 200 times. You get it? Okay. Let's get your March card. Okay. March is the moon. Hmm. March, another major, major arcana is somebody around you. And this is for the entire month and it'll spill over into April. They're being very highly deceptive. Write this down. This is very important in March for you, Scorpio, somebody is extremely deceptive and I get that they want to get your money. They, they won't succeed. You gotta be smart though. And that could be in anything. Okay. Could be in, in, a uh, you have a child and that person wants more money from you. You have to be smart about this Scorpio 
and uh, they don't need more money is what I get. And I don't see them getting it. Okay, let's move on. But that's what April, March is. This is April. The singing clock came on to soothe you on that one. Okay, April is the king of wands because, well, you're. this is you. But I get it also being somebody else, somebody that wants to challenge you, okay? And um, you're going to show them who's boss. They're going to come in as king of wands and they're going to leave as the page of wands <laughs> because you're going to show them a thing or two because you're the in uh, innovative one. You take something that exists and you make it better. You reinvent it. It's almost like you're not even innovating. You're creating something brand new and that's going to be happening in April as well. But the King of Wands is innovative. They're business minded. They're authoritative. They're extreme. But that extreme, extreme, it, can I speak? Extremism puts them in center stage, puts them in the limelight. And so expect that in April for all sorts of reasons. <laughs> I'm getting some reasons you won't want to be in the limelight, but it's, it's all good though. Don't worry. All right, let's get May. Let's see what's going on in May. All right, the hermit. Okay, it makes sense because another major arcana. A lot going on for you in 2024. A lot of great things. You're going in hermit mode. You're going to into solitude because you feel you need to. You feel that solitude is going to do you good, right? It's going to allow you to recharge the batteries, so to speak. I'm going to try to fix this Scorpio so I can get more cards up. So you're going to go into hermit mode in, in um, April, okay? And it's much needed hermit mode, I, I might add. It's, it's necessary for you to recharge your batteries. Okay. That's May. Yeah, that's May. Hope I misspoke there. Okay. Let's, oh, that's June. I don't know if you saw that card fly out, <laughs> but it's like, here I am. All right. June is the five of wands. Okay. Let's move that over a little bit. So it's not covering your hermit. Right. So June, we're looking at the wands and you see that person. That's how you're going to be feeling like, oh, my God, <laughs> so many challenges, so many obstacles. People are disagreeing with me. Let them disagree. You're right. People are going to be coming in. I don't like that, Scorpio. Change that. Nah, eh, eh. And you're like, you know what? Talk to the hand. I don't have time for this. I just came out of hermit mode, so I'm ready. I'm equipped, which is probably why the cards are advising you, you know, to do that. The cards are coming out and saying you will do that and to do that. You need to do that. And I see you partially doing it, but you, you will have enough introspection. You will have enough rest and relaxation to come out and deal with that five of wands. Not to worry. All right, so let's move on to July. See what's going on in July. I feel like money's going to be good. Okay, strength. Strength card comes in and it says, okay, people are going to be, you're going to have naysayers, right? In that June time frame, and when you go into July, you will need strength because a lot of that will have spilled over into your July. And you're like, you know what? I got strength. I don't have time for this. So it's really two months of just kind of defending yourself. Okay. But I'm hearing you've got this not to worry. So let's move on to August. Okay. August is seven of cups. Hmm. Okay. Now it's a little bit of, uh, making the right choices, doing the right thing, new projects coming in and you being very excited about it.
you're very excited in August. It's like, yippee, something new is coming in. Whatever it is, could be new, could be anything. A new baby, a new car, a new life, a new husband, and whatever it is, it's new. It's brand spanking new. Okay. That's all. That's exciting. August. Okay. Now September, just for, I'm going to forewarn you, September of 2024 is going to be somewhat chaotic in the world is what I'm picking up. I did a reading, uh, last year about, I may have done it in June. I don't remember, but it, I, it's titled something along the lines of September of 2024 will be look completely different. It'll be a different world. So you may want to check that out because we're getting ready to pull your September card. And so far, just about everyone has been affected. Everyone will be affected. Okay. And there it is. And you will too. September is going to be tough and you're going to be in your head about it. You're going to be stressing just like everybody else. Not, don't worry. You're being forewarned. So you're lucky. You will be, it'll be a lot less stress for you, but it's something that the world will be dealing with. And, and sometimes when things happen in the United States that are huge, it reverberates throughout the world. But that's September. Okay, let's get your last, let's get the last four cards. Okay. October, November, and December. Okay. And then we'll pull a money and love card. October is the 10 of cups. Okay. It, it's literally the 10 of cups for you in October. It, it's just, you're, you're in a good place. Irrespective of what has happened in September, you have risen above it or you're choosing to rise above it because everybody's dealing with it. And it's the aftermath of it. But whatever happened is going to be a continuation of that. You don't just bounce out of that. But this is everybody dealing with it. It's not just you. But you come out and you're like, you're, your focus now is on your home, happy home, happy life, that type of thing. Okay. November, five of cups. And the five of cups is, it's sadness. And I feel like your whatever has occurred in, in September has affected someone close to you. And that's what I'll say there. That's November. Okay. We won't expand on that and you'll be feeling, it'll be a little heavy for you. And December, you end the year with the two of swords. And the two of swords is equally matched. It's friendships. It's, it's brave acts. And you're going to have to be brave with something, you know, that has come out of September, the month of September. Okay. Let's get your card, but it's nothing you can't handle. You'll be fine. All right. Let's get your card for, uh, money and and love. And we'll close it out with that. It's a great year for you, Scorpio. Okay. So money is the three of pentacles. And I get for you, money is just fine. Money is actually quite good. You will be, um, because the three of pentacles is about, uh, it's apprenticeship. It's well known, which you will be very well known if you aren't already, but you'll be advising and, and, you know, put, taking people under your ring, wing, wing. And, um, and because apprenticeship is teaching. All right. And then your money is the fool. Don't make fools move moves with your money, but your money will be good. I mean, you have the sun for crying out loud. The sun alleviates all of that and makes that all so much easier. You're very, very fortunate and blessed in 2024. And especially in that month of September, based on your sun card. So I'm going to leave it there, 
Scorpio. Thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. Do consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about this read. If you like what I do, consider buying me a coffee in the description box below. And until next time, as always, you take good care and we'll talk soon. Bye.